This is northeastern Somalia, where two consecutive years of poor rainfall has turned rural areas into desert. The carcasses that litter this barren landscape represent lost livelihoods for the people who live here. The sad reality of, of a drought this severe, this long, this enduring, is that we're starting to see massive livestock deaths, uh, livestock losses, 50, 60, even 70 percent of, uh, of, of, of livestock herds uh, dying, um, which is an enormous, enormous hit for, for these pastoral families to take. Many of the herders have sought refuge in camps, like this one on the outskirts of Mogadishu. But even here, the threat of disease and starvation looms, particularly for children. About half of Somalia's population, around six million people, are thought to be in need of humanitarian aid. The rains are expected to arrive in mid-April, but aid agencies are already concerned that many of the internally displaced will have nothing to return to. This woman says, I was a herder. I came from the rural area three months ago. Almost all my livestock have perished, and the few of them that are still alive are too weak and cannot provide us with milk and meat. To prevent a tragedy on an even greater scale, the race is on to stem the loss of animals. The United Nations is planning a major vaccination program. To assist the pastoralists with two main interventions. One of them is the emergency supportive treatment. We are targeting around two million animals to be treated against endo parasites and blood parasites, infectious disease and wounds. Somalia is just one of several countries in this part of Africa facing widespread suffering as a result of conflict and hunger. It's hoped that aid will arrive in the coming days and weeks to prevent the death toll from spiralling further. But the future for the people of this region remains far from certain. represent women in politics.